Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're asked to prove that cosine of the inverse sine of x is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. So what we're going to do here is we are going to do some substitution that will allow us to easily solve this problem. So let's say we're going to have some value y, but we're going to let that be equal to the inverse sine of x. Therefore, this is just cosine of y, right? Cosine of the inverse sine. By our rules, this is just y, so this is cosine of y. And we are going to use an identity in trigonometry that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. We can therefore say that subtracting sine squared from both sides, that cosine squared y equals 1 minus sine squared y. And taking the square root of both sides, the square root of cosine squared is just the thing itself, cosine of y. This is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. And I'll actually just clarify here, this is sine of y squared. Doing it like that will make it a little bit easier. Cosine of y, this is cosine, I'm going to shred it out a little bit, of y is sine inverse of x. So we've solved for cosine y because it is equal to the thing that we're trying to solve for is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine of y is sine inverse of x. And this whole thing is squared. Therefore, cosine of sine inverse of x is equal to the square root of 1 minus the sine of the inverse of sine of x. The sine, or any function of its inverse of something, Doing that means this function and the inverse cancel out, and you're just left with the thing inside x squared. So therefore, the cosine of sine inverse of x is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. 